I feel, since the way they're going to be pushing, they're going to be pretty static, just hitting yeah. the tower. And if they need to get the hell out of there, they can send back with Chen. They have Repel. Uh, they have the four staff we talked about. And at Whoa, least Sniper is fast. Shot already. on the yep. Big Daddy in the bottom lane. He'll big Matt. Daddy. Uh, yep, Big Daddy indeed, sir. Saves the hand of God with the Warriors, but that's not happening. And he gets four staffed back. Lift comes out from the Radiant side. Tier 3 tower getting low. So far, so good for Cloud9. The Siege looking pretty potent. Loda taking a lot of damage from Fata. And this Repel making Cloud9's life very easy. How does Alliance even initiate this? Bristleback in the front line is right there, and you know Envy is going to be doing a lot of damage in the back lines. Well, they give Envy the Repel now. He's going in aggressively. They don't mind if they go on Fata now since they've already got the racks. But look in the bottom lane. Pie Cat, he's split pushing. Tier 3 tower. Ah, just getting tickled. He just doesn't have the damage yet. They'll get the melee back, uh, barracks. Range stays standing very low on HP. It's a really long time ago, and this might even be the record. Four kills at minute 30 sounds ridiculous, actually. But yeah, I'm sure there's a stats guy. Dat dota -ing away right now, trying to figure out the lowest scoring game in history. Oh, Here we go. Fata. Swap onto Fata. He uses the Crimson Guard. A lot of damage, and he just can't survive. Pycat will use that first BKB charge. Tower still goes down. It is denied by Loda. So they at least have something to reset with. Mad also level 13. He's got some itemization to him, so his damage output starting to increase. There's that repel out on Fata, but the purge from Mad is there. Fata taking a lot of damage. Guardian Angel turns it around. Venge, the first to fall. Serpent Wards have come down, but Pycat, BKB on, trying to lay into Fata and just can't do it. The AC beefing him up a little bit here as Niqua makes it back. Assassinate for the kill. It's a two for nil, but Cloud9 can't break the high ground. Uh, this no is a pretty used. good hold. That's the, that's the re um the Diffusal Blade surprise there that mm -hmm. Cloud9, I think, weren't ready for. And the fact that they got two kills out of that and didn't die. Uh, an exclusive, exquisite zoo here with some nice new animals. Oh. No, uh, no granite Drake. golem, though, which might and be the what they're waiting hide. for. Yeah, the Drake, very tanky, a good frontliner. The Thunderhide, I think, regarded as the, one of the weaker. I guess the Slam is helpful. It does have a slow and an attack speed slow, but it's already dead. Oh, there we go. And a god from Chen will keep it alive. Double damage rune on Envy, making the siege a little easier. They'll put him in the front lines because he does have that Aegis. Hill from Bone 7 tops him off. Tower taking a fair bit of damage, but there's the swap into the base. That's the end of the Aegis of the Immortal. But there's still a lot to go. They'll also blow up Bone 7. No GA for this fight. Now Envy in deep. He'll get brought down quickly. Cloud9 on the back foot, just trying to retreat to mitigate their losses. But Hookshot on to Big Daddy. He'll certainly fall, and they're not done yet. Fauda caught inside of the Yules. This is a disaster for Cloud9 as they get completely repelled. Alliance win the fight without even using a glyph. Yeah, that's a really, really important well, hold now here. Now they glyph to save their range barracks <laughs> up top, but timing here and looks like their call is let's uh, let's do something now. Let's get the ranged barracks. Yep. I mean, well, they know Alliance are all uh, missing from the map and no one's defending the Radiant base, so it's fairly obvious what's going on. Uh oh. Zeus ultimate scouts things out a little bit. Big Daddy takes some whirling axes. Shrapnel scouts things out. Hook shot in from Niqua. Goes in onto Envy. Where's the follow-up, though? He gets hexed right away on the other side of the fight. Fata swapped in, taking a lot of damage. All heal comes out. He eats the cheese. That buys him a little bit of time. Two down already for Alliance. The GA buys Fata that little bit of extra time he needed. Pycat goes down. Rasta wards are used to finish off Loda. The stretch arm strong shackles. It's a four for one. Cloud9 take the fight, but buybacks are available. Already deployed by Loda. And Mad, the lone survivor, will try to book it back to the base. Now the high ground siege begins. No glyph available for Alliance. Envy repelled up. Looks like they may claim another lane of barracks off this. Buyback from the clockwork now. Troll still dead. And Mad is doing whatever he can here with the static field, but it actually doesn't do anything against this repel. Bone 7, very importantly for Cloud9, does stay alive here. They might repel the push as... Save the ranged barracks for now. And... Well, a noble effort from Cloud9, but kind of a backfire. Will they get punished for this is the next question. Big Daddy hit by a Viper Strike. Niqua hook shot on two. Cogs to break up the fight. Big Daddy goes down first. And now the rest of Cloud9 just trying to split to get back to the base. They'll lose their clockwork, but he takes out a Shadow Shaman with him. A one for two. And more importantly, Alliance repels the push once more. My prediction. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard life, Sith. Yeah, he didn't even break the SNY. It is a good item. And Roche now scouted out by both sides. This is Roche number four. Aegis and Cheese right for the taking. Shrapnel coming down to give the Dyer a lot of vision as Alliance just walk right into the pit. Pycat blinks forward, looking to start off this fight. Fada in the front lines, taking a fair bit of damage. 
Who's going to go down first? Pycat, BKB on, starting to throw those axes. The all-hill from Chen, buying Fata a lot of time. Huge damage from the Quills coming out onto Alliance, and Fata is still alive. Vengeful's already gone down, now Loda, and the front line's hook shot onto three. All trapped inside of the Cogs, but where's the damage? Loda's gone down, now Pycat reinitiating. Bone 7 gets left behind. He'll fall. It's a bloodbath in the river, but it looks like Cloud9 could possibly take the fight. Down goes the troll as Venge buys back. Roshan still standing, rather healthy. And the rest of Cloud9... It could be an opening for Alliance to just go swap Envy in and kill him off instantly. It does feel like Alliance is getting into Hail Mary oh, Mobile. Hold that thought as there's a swap them. onto Envy. Heal comes out, but Pycat blinks forward. Will he win the man fight? He does. That's the end of the Aegis. Looks like Misery will die off to the side. Pycat, though, taking a lot of damage. He's in very deep right now without the GA. Maybe he can win this fight. Going hard onto Envy. There's your hook shot from Nikwa to lock him in place. It's a dead sniper. Alliance may have found the break that they needed. Fata now low on the back foot. He's trying to make it back to the base, but Viper slowing him to all hell. Hook shot will be off the mark. That would have secured the kill, but now Fata does live. The problem here, though, is their high ground will be under assault. The question of buybacks here, Sind. And there's one deployed. Under Actually, unneeded at that point in time. Alliance didn't even have creeps with them in pro. This is the time. Oh, oh. From Zeus, the wraparound play catches Omni, or uh, Envy rather. Omni pops the ultimate, but Sniper still falls. Big Daddy in a lot of trouble as well, trapped inside of the cogs. Nowhere to go. A buyback from the Chen. Envy will have his coming up in about 25 seconds, but still on cooldown. Yeah, Alliance probably won't be able to take a tower off this. There is a glyph, there's backdoor protection, their top lane is being pushed. Their tier 4 is a bit of a buffer here. It has 1600 health, so this creep wave will not be able to take it, but they're running out of time and they feel the pressure and will start going in here, Envy, with the buyback available very soon. However, GA was used, and that's probably the biggest of deals, even if Envy respawns. He doesn't have that safety net. Glyph has come out. Alliance will get this lane of barracks. Fata runs in, takes a fair bit of damage to get things started. Envy will buy back now. The all heal from Chen. Alliance need to get the hell out of there. Loda will get left behind, and he will die. Meanwhile, Pycat does TP home. That tier 4 tower you were talking about that was healthy, now very low on HP. That's right. Alliance is effectively out of safety structures. And yeah, they had to port back. They buy back load. It's closing in on maximum spawn time, and there we go. Yeah, both teams should be pretty aware of that timer at this point. Big Daddy still holding on to some ancient creeps here. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Fata caught out. Loda doing a fair bit of damage, but the Abyssal Blade comes down from the skies. This could be a dieback for Loda. He'll fall, and this could bode badly for Alliance. Now Nikwa on the back foot. Ultimate from Zeus does a fair bit of damage, but where's the follow-up? Pycat, BKB on, brings down Envy. It's a dieback for him. All of a sudden, things looking a little bit better for Alliance. Swap onto Fata. Stunned up. The big damage is coming out, but he eats the cheese and gets healed up by Omni Knight. That's enough to find the kill on Ake. Pycat hexed into a little piggy. Mad, isolated by the Shackle. They'll bring him down. Two left alive for Alliance, but soon to be one. Mad on the run. Ghost Scepter buys him a little bit of time. Maybe finds another kill. Nope. That'll be the end of him. Troll now buy forced to buy back. <laughs> what an awkward fight that was, Sindarin. This could Huge went badly for them. There's no point in taking this risk in such an important match. Yep. Just wait for the key item to come out, wait for all of your abilities to be perfectly ready and, and go for it. Nice amount of health on Fata, by the way. Exactly 3k, oh, here we go! Bone 7, hook shot in from Nikwa. They're on to Fata. Ake could be the first one to go down. Power Cogs breaking up this fight. Bone 7 falls before the GA comes out. Now he does have a buyback. Remember, he's got the Aghanim, so he could pop this from the well. Clockwork's down. No buyback available on him. Pycat falls as well. He's dead. This should be game. It's the right call from Alliance to try to go for the Omni Knight, but they didn't have enough and he even had the buyback. That was pretty much an impossible fight to win for them.